Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Dr. McCary, how many, um, well, uh, let me start with this. What's, what's the budget at uh, CDC? Do you happen to know that? CDC, it's about $9 billion, sir. How, how about at NIAID? What's the budget there? Six billion. Six billion. Nine billion at CDC, six billion NIAID. What's, what, what about NIH? What's the budget there? Uh, between 42 and 43 billion. 42 and 43. So I do the quick math. That's like 57, 58 billion dollars. That's annual, right? Annual. Okay. And that, you know how many people work at uh, CDC? Um, CDC and NIH together, about 30,000 people. 30,000. What about if you add in NIAID? You know how many that is? Or they're part of, they're part of, they're part of uh, uh, NIH as well, right? So 30, what was that number? That's right. That's right. 50, uh, 31,000 people between CDC and NIH. 31,000 people spending $58 billion a year. Uh, why hasn't our government done a study on natural immunity? If I can be honest, uh, Representative Jordan, I don't think they want to know the answer. It would undermine the indiscriminate vaccine vaccination policy for every single human being, including extremely low risk so people. So uh, how many how many Americans have uh, have have got covid uh, since since we've had this virus, Do you know, north of half of Americans based on a Columbia University study that showed one in three had covid at the end of last year, a year ago. So there's certainly a, certainly a, a, a sufficient sample size to to do a study. And there's fifty seven to fifty eight billion dollars. Some I mean, you could use some of that money to do a study. Um, and then, of course, you know, you got 30 some thousand people who could conceivably do a study on a pretty fundamental uh, question. Now, I, I think I, I saw in your opening statement that you're actually doing a study on natural immunity. Is that right? That's right. With private funding, Johns Hopkins, my research team is doing a study. OK, so uh, you, you, there's no grant money coming from CDC, NIH, nothing like that. No, sir. And are any of these 30 some thousand employees helping you with your study? No, sir. Now, other countries, if, if I understand, I think this was in your opening statement as well. Other countries have done this study. Is that, is that correct? Uh, most of our learnings come from Israel and other countries. Yes, sir. And what have they found? Let's, let's start with the Israel study. If you could just refresh my memory. What did Israel find? The Israel study is the largest study done worldwide, and it found that natural immunity adjusted for age and comorbidity is 27 times more effective than vaccinated immunity. And they just put out on um, December 5th, another study, follow, a follow-up study, again, affirming similar results that, vac that natural immunity is stronger than vaccinated immunity. But, uh, but, our, but our, the scientists in our government at, the, at CDC and, and, and NIH, they don't account for that? They don't talk about that? They, what, what do they say about that study? They never talk about it. They never talk about it um, unless asked, but I would say that they are doing worse than being absent on the topic. They are undermining natural immunity through two studies that the CDC did that are so flawed, that are so uh, poorly put together, honestly, they would not qualify for a seventh grade science fair. The results cannot be derived from the data. And it's a disgrace that those two studies were put out because it undermines the larger body of science. So they won't talk about international studies that conclude that natural immunity is 27 times better than the vaccine, but they will do some bogus, to, to, in your words, some seventh grade science experiment studies using some of those 33,000 employees and using some of that $58 billion of the American taxpayer money. Uh, they will do that. that That's right that there. That's fair. I will say their intention is noble, but just very paternalistic. That is, they believe in from private conversations that if they acknowledge natural immunity, some people may avoid vaccination and think I'll just get the infection. We don't want people to do that, but we can be honest with the data and encourage vaccination at the same well, time. I think the American people, particularly ones paying, paying for, this is their money. They expect honesty and transparency from our government. They don't expect to be deceived. So, I mean, this is what gets me. We can spend money. Some of that 58 billion and some of the resources at NIH and CDC can be used to fund gain of function research and give a grant to EcoHealth, who then sends some of that money to uh, a lab in, in Wuhan, China. That's just fine, but we can't find any resources to deal with a fundamental question about natural immunity. And so much so that you have to go out and get private funding to do it yourself. 
That's right. The NIH spent twice as much money on aging research last year, the year of COVID, uh, more than they spent on COVID research. <laughs> this would be laughable if it wasn't so serious. And the implications when you think about these mandates and everything else that's happening, what it's doing to our economy, not to mention just being honest with the American people who, after all, it's their money. Uh, but but yet we have we have the head guy, Mr. Fauci, Dr. Fauci, saying I represent science, but he's afraid to actually do the science and do the studies that need to be done to answer this question. And we have to rely on international studies and your private study to get the truth to the American people. We've subjected 72 million children to intense restrictions for two years. Yet we don't have the most basic research. We've never had an NIH fund funded study on masks in kids, and we've never had any information revealed by the CDC on whether or not any ch they, healthy child has died. The of doctor, COVID. it's either it's either they know the answer and don't want the American people. Uh, they, they they know the answer and don't want the American people to know, or they do know the answer and are trying to hide it. I mean, it's, it's like. They, they know the answer or they they're, they're not they're not sure the answer i should say or they know the answer and are trying to hide it from the american people it's one of those two